Okay, electronics. Well, we, they kept it simple here. We have one single uh, humbucker and one single volume knob. That's it. Um, and the humbucker, yeah. It's decent. I'll talk about it when it comes to sounds. Uh, the volume control uh, is, yeah, it's the cheapest kind and the worst kind. Uh, it does nothing until one, two, and then it completely shuts everything off. So there's no room for, um, yeah, you lower lower your volume, lower your gain, uh, or you, yeah, keep it low for a rhythm and then turn it up to 10 when you play solos. You can do, can't, that's something you can't do with this guitar because it's basically on 10 until it shuts off. So it's more or less, more or less of a on off switch, I'm afraid. So um, yeah, electronic wise, pickups good. Uh, the volume control isn't, so it's a 50-50 thing. It gets a five. Playability. This is aimed for girls, and um, therefore they made the neck uh, really uh, not so narrow. Uh, no, it's it is narrow. Sorry, more narrow. And um, yeah, it really helps, uh, I suppose, if you have small hands if you're starting out. Uh, it's a 24 and three quarter inch scale. That's a shorter one. But you don't really feel it when you play it, actually. Um, and I can't really get why, because the strings, f you feel like they have a lot of tension still. And that's supposed, since it's a short scale neck, the strings are supposed to have less tension. And construction wise, they have put the bridge so far up into the body that you have to put the neck so far out from the body. So when you're sitting down, like I'm doing now, uh, the neck comes a long way this <laughs> to the left. And uh, I suppose it could be hard to reach, actually, for someone with short arms. Well, I'm long, so I have no problem. But if they would make a design that would fit uh, someone with shorter arms, so a smaller person, then they would move the whole thing further down. Because now, it f even though it's a short scale, it feels like a long scale, actually. Uh, other than that, the neck uh, playing wise is really good. It's uh, satin finish. Um, yeah, it plays really nice. It's a very flat radius. As I said, narrow, so it's easy to get around. Um, so, give it a seven for playability. Okay, now we'll try to test its sounds then and um, since there's only one pickup there will be only one <laughs> one one per sound so I won't do anything else than try a different sound so here's a clean one for starters <laughs> a little overdrive. Oh, 
Lead Sound. It's a really high output pickup. I think it's actually the highest output pickup I've reviewed so far. Um, it's very even in tone. It's not like it has a very lot of treble, like very lot of bass. Um, and that makes it kind of characterless. Um, but it works. Uh, I think it suits many styles, so... If you just had one pickup, well, maybe it's better to make it characterless. So, uh, since you have no one else, uh, no other to choose between. But since it's kind of dull, I gave it a seven. Uh, it works, but yeah, there's nothing special to it. Yeah. So this has been the Days Rock Debutante, Rock Candy Princess guitar. Uh, is it just for girls? Well, of course it isn't. Uh, it's a Gibson scale neck. What you get with this one is a narrow neck. But you have a G Gibson guitar it usually is kind of wide. Especially compared to a Fender style guitar. So this is for anyone that's looking for something that's easy to get around. And um, yeah, it's a proper guitar. What can I say? And it's has more good features than most of the guitars that I've reviewed so far, so it really works. And you get a nice pink amplifier with it and stuff, so why not? All in all, it gets a 6.6 .6 from me. Okay then, this has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and we'll see each other soon. Have a good day, bye.